The challenge was to take a single web page and to display different versions of it to visitors depending on whether they're logged in as registered members. We don't have a registration and login system, so the solution involves hard coding a variable to indicate the visitor's status. So I'm going to begin by creating a PHP block above the doc type declaration. And then inside that PHP block, I'm going to initialize a variable called member and set its value to zero. PHP treats zero as false, so this will indicate that the visitor is not logged in as a registered member. Now we need to deal with displaying the different sections. The header, that has got the both class, so it'll be displayed to both members and non-members, so we don't need to do anything here. But the section that begins on line 16, the class is non-member, so this is for non-members only. We need to use a PHP conditional statement to control this. So on the previous line, insert a PHP block, and inside that block we'll have the if keyword, and that's followed by the condition. This section needs to be displayed if the visitor is not a member. PHP uses an exclamation mark as the logical not operator to reverse whether a variable or expression evaluates to true or false. So we can use exclamation mark member to mean not a member. Above the doc type, we set member to zero, which is false, and putting an exclamation mark in front of member here reverses the meaning. So this condition will now be true. So it will show this to non-members. But if we change the value of member to true, this will then be false, so it will hide it from members. After the condition, you normally use an opening curly brace, but we're working with a lot of code in this file, so I think it'll make the code easier to read if we use the alternative syntax and add a colon after the condition instead of a curly brace. So what should go inside this if block? It might sound odd, but we don't need any PHP code at all. All that's necessary is to wrap the existing HTML inside the block. So let's just scroll down and between these two sections, add a new PHP block. And we're using the alternative syntax, so we need to have the end if keyword followed by a semicolon. Now, if you find this confusing, Remember that PHP is designed to be embedded in HTML. The code inside a conditional statement doesn't have to be PHP. It can also be static HTML. All that the PHP engine is concerned about is whether the condition is true or false. If it's true, it processes whatever is inside the block, whether it's PHP code or static HTML. If the condition is false, everything inside the block is ignored. So, the next section is for members only. We need a new if block, and this time the condition will be member. And we're using the alternative syntax, so a colon, and then we need to scroll down to the end of that section, a new PHP block, and the end if keyword, followed by a semicolon and the closing PHP tag. In this next section, we've got two divs. The first div has the class both, so that's going to be shown to both members and non-members. We don't need to do anything here, but we do need to deal with this one that's got the class of members. So we need another conditional statement there. So that's a PHP block and if member, followed by a colon, closing PHP tag, and the end if needs to go between the closing div tag and the closing section tag. So PHP and then end if and our closing PHP tag. The footer has the class of both, so we don't need to do anything there. So that is all the PHP code that we need. Let's just save that file and now view it in a browser. And this shows us the version for non-members. All of the background is white, so that has worked perfectly. So if we go back to the editing program and scroll up to the top and change member from zero to one, member will now be true. So if I save that and view the page in the browser again, this time we get the version for members and we've got that colored background for the sections that are for members only.
So how did you do with that challenge? Did you have a solution that was similar to mine? If you think this can be achieved with CSS, think again. Let's go back to the exercise files for this video, back to my editing program. And I've got this other page here, different underscore CSS dot PHP. At the top, member is set to zero. Then in the head of the document, I'm using conditional statements to control the CSS. So if the member is true, non-members will display none. Otherwise, members will display none. And if we run this in the browser, this displays the non-members version perfectly. But if I right click and view page source and scroll down, there in the HTML is the information that is for members only. So this is totally insecure. But if we go back to the editing program and to my version and then change member from one to zero, save that and refresh the page in the browser. There is the non-members version. And if we right click and view the page source, we've got the both section there. We've got the non-members section there and the both section, but the material for members only is not even here. It's not just hidden in the browser. It isn't even here. The PHP engine has served different content depending on the visitor's status. And that's an extremely powerful aspect of web development with PHP. So how did you find the challenge? Although the solution involved very little code, it highlights some important aspects of working with PHP, using implicitly true or false values, reversing the Boolean value with an exclamation mark, the logical not operator, and wrapping static HTML in conditional statements to serve different content to visitors depending on whether they've logged in.